Hey, good morning, big bikers. Well, it's like uh, quarter to six on a Thursday morning, and it is a ride day today. <laughs> so uh, I'm heading about two hours west of Brisbane to meet up with uh, Chris from ADV Rider Bike and a new guy I don't think you've met before called Cushy. Uh, he's going to uh, come along on his Africa Twin and we're going to go and do some riding. Well, it's a bit of a mystery ride because we're not sure yet. We're going to meet up. We've got three directions we can go. South, West or North. And so what we're going to do is uh, make a decision about where we, which way we're going to go. Depending on the weather because it's all just been so up in the air lately and there's different parts of the country that are closed because of the weather so we're just going to do a toy and cross and go from there anyway it's the first ride back on the bike since i had it uh since i fixed it up after the crash so yeah it's going all right and i'll give you a run through when i've got a bit of light to show you <laughs> Anyway, I've got two hours of riding. Uh, it's not going to be light for probably another 30 minutes, um, but I'll be on the motorway most of the way, so it shouldn't be a problem. Cruise control, heated grips on. It's uh, was it 15 degrees. Um, it's not super cold, but there is a chill in the air. But where I'm going is uh, getting up some altitude, so that's obviously going to make things a little bit colder. So I might have to put my heated seat on. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you soon. Seven hours driving on the highway, far away, far away, far away. Every moment I was spending on regret. Was such a waste, such a waste, such a waste Looking on the city lights Flashing bright in my eyes Look up to the sky and I got this relief inside Then there's no need to hide I'm going all the way up Just got milky as we've ridden into this uh, low cloud here. <laughs> like, oh, it's fogging up, but it's fogging up on the outside, not on the inside. So it's just you go through these cold patches and then back into the warm patches, and yeah. The thing I love about being on a motorbike is the stuff that you don't notice when you're in the car, because you just wouldn't even. Wouldn't even pick that up if you're driving along with the air conditioner on in the car, just keeping your climate perfectly suitable inside the vehicle. And I just love being on a motorbike and just feeling those subtle changes in temperature and humidity and it just, it's, this is living Barry. <laughs> I've been going for nearly two hours now. So I just about to take the turn off to meet up with the boys. I'm a little bit early, uh, but not by much. So time for coffee and I'll just do a quick walk around on the bike before we take off, make sure everything's all right. The Charlton BP truck stop. Uh, fill up with fuel. Have a uh, have a coffee. I'm probably going to be the first one here. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if Cushy is. He's come up from the Sunshine Coast. They so might have been a bit early. No bikes to be seen. So I might be the first. up with fuel I've 
We'll, we'll start the ride with a full tank of juice. All right, so we are at the meet point for the ride. So we're at the, the BP at Charlton, uh, just outside Toowoomba. I thought I'd just run you through my concerns. Here's the tyre. I think we should be right with that one. The Pirellis are generally pretty good. So you see, this is the first ride I've had on the bike since the crash. So I've got the old screen back on. The other one got smashed. I think I've... Um, there's a, a broken mount or something in there. I'm going to have to check that out. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a bit of bark damage. The forks, uh, the handlebars weren't twisted. What was happening was the the forks had moved in the triple clamp. So once I released all that, it actually popped out. Um, the, I've got a broken um, in the plastics in behind there. There's a there's a a peg, um, but that's broken. But I can weld that back up, so I've still got that a new clutch lever. And while I was doing that, everyone said I should put a one finger clutch on. So I've now got a one finger clutch, new clutch lever. Um, oh, there's a few scratches up in there, but generally the bike came out of it pretty well. There's um, absolutely no damage at all to any other part of the bike, so. I broke I broke the screen, I broke the the clutch lever which has now been fixed. Everything's fine. Like and the, the bike's the bike's working great. The only thing I have done, because you know I was complaining about the heat. I'm not complaining about the heat anymore because I, I freaking love that in the winter. But here's what I've done. I haven't I've haven't put a I haven't done a cat delete, but I have put a new pipe on it. It's a it's a it's a Yoshi mirror. But not with one eye, so with three. It's a Yoshi mirror. <laughs> yeah, it's a Chinese copy. Anyway. Cushy, welcome to BBA, mate. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Good to be here finally. Unbelievable. Yeah. So I was telling people that you're fairly active. You don't have a YouTube channel, but you're very active on Instagram. So. Yeah. Uh, live for ADV. The ADV rider blokes joined the party in his flash new freaking old trooper outfit. <laughs> Mate, as we, it's important that you look good and everything matches. So that's uh, what, 17, 18? How old 80, is he? 80. 2018 yep. 1000cc CRF 1000. 46,000. 22? 20. 20. Uh, CRF 1100, 23 uh, Husqvarna Norden 901 Expedition. All right, it's a ride day today. I couldn't have asked for a better day. So we're currently a little bit south of Toowoomba, heading towards Warwick. And very shortly, I think we're going to be hitting the dirt. So it's, just, yeah, it's so built up, it's so long established that most of the roads around here are actually sealed. But there is some dirt.
the lung could be a thief from me Kind of wildlife reserve over there, maybe a bird sanctuary or something. Not even on the map. I don't know what it is. This has been unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> a bit overloaded for this kind of thing. Oh, it's foggy. <laughs> oh my god. You alright? Well, it wasn't so sad. I shouldn't have any trouble lifting it. I was trying to get out of that. Uh, Why did you go to or did you drop it? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> well, this is a bit unexpected. Need to go up the high side.
right? Okay. This is still down in there. Quite a little unexpected. <laughs> uh, that's just a tire. It actually should be right. I thought it was a big log. Oh. You get through there? Uh, I'd rather come back, but... It's, I thought it was a log, but it's a tyre. Do you want to go backing up here? Yeah. yeah there's a big stick there. Where's that log you went up on? I think that's where I went up. So we've been going for a couple of hours since we met up and left the BP. We are uh, a little bit southwest of Warwick. We're just going to follow all these back roads down to uh, down to Texas, and we'll stop at Texas and then uh, kind of work out what we're doing. Well, definitely going to be riding, that's for sure. I don't know if you can see the dust in the mirror. Uh, the boys have just dropped back a bit to uh, just stay out of the dust a bit. That's uh, the right thing to do. But yeah, it should be... I don't know, uh, like, we're not sure where we're going. We're going to Texas and then we'll pick the next point. The next point will determine whether we go south or whether we go west. We'll deliberate that over coffee. I don't like it when I can't see the track through the grass. Oh my goodness. This is a little bit intense. I'm not talking about camping either. Check my mirrors for a while. I should just check to make sure the boys are behind me. Oh my 
can't see them but I will just keep on get down here to a clear spot I can't hear them um, I'll just turn around and go back they might have missed a turn but no signal in here. Grass is slippery, eh? Hang on. What? What? I got it. You want to go around? Yeah, I got crushed up full sideways. I didn't come off. It just kicked me like that and... Like <sighs> and I fell over where he fell over. <sighs> okay, this will be interesting. Okay. Oh, I can hear something. Yep, here they come. Yeah, it comes cushy. So those African twins look good, don't they? I said that the nap. So, oh, you did. Yeah. Or Chris. Uh, the front end washed out. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It real grassy. Yeah. A bit back there. Oh no. Oh, uh. the <laughs> oh no. No. Well, this is a bit gnarlier than I was expecting. Okay. This is a bit gnarlier than I was expecting. Uh, we're still going on this track. Uh, everyone's had a little light out. <laughs> um, I had mine at the start, and then both the other guys had a bit of a lie down. I think Chris got Chris got Cushy Falls, and uh, Chris had one of his own. And of course, Chris had three cameras on that one. That's just this long grass. I don't know if there's logs under it or rocks or whatever. Very nerve wracking. It's a while since anybody, anybody's been on this track. I reckon before cut, before uh, before COVID, <laughs> it's been a while. I don't even think a farmer's been along this track in a quad. It's 
still wearing my thermals from this morning so I'm starting to get quite hot so we'll have to stop at some point and uh, get some gear off there's supposed to be an intersection just up here that might give us a road out this is the sort of stuff that burns up your day not that there's anything wrong with it we love it but it just adds to the day. So much time. Yeah, see this, there we go. A big stick. I've had a couple go up into the bash plate and kind of drag along in the center stand. Oh, this is horrible. I don't like this at all. You don't even want to change. There's got to be a gate soon. Big log. Oh. Please let the nightmare end. <laughs> Hey Skippy! Ah, oh, big freaking spider! Right, look at this. There's a spider on my screen here. <laughs> yeah, you come for a little ride, are you, buddy? Well, I'm glad the screen got that, and it didn't end up <laughs> from my helmet. It's a golden orb, so it's completely harmless. But I know Miss Buttons would be freaking out at the sight of a spider on the screen. <laughs> I'm going to have to get that off. Looks like it's clearing up here. Yeah. Yeah, good. Okay. Oh. Got a passenger, big golden orb. He's not happy. Oh my goodness. That was intense. Yeah, like, Just. <laughs> oh, we'll wait at the next intersection. Seven hours driving on the highway Far away, far away, far away Every moment I was spending on regrets Was such a waste, such a waste, such a waste Looking on the city lights Flashing bright in my eyes Look up to the sky and I Relief inside, and there's no need to hide. I'm going all the way up. Oh, I'm going all the way up. Oh, I'm letting go in my heart oh, of everything that holds me down. No, no. So, I made it to Texas. And uh, we're just all topping up. Probably have lunch at the pub and then we'll make it call. Cool. Oh, I suspect we'll probably go south. I think um, the riding will be more interesting the further south we go. So we might just uh, probably have a talk about that and then make that decision. It's a great ride this morning. What is it? Midday now. Um, just after midday. So it's <laughs> taking me six hours to get here. I guess uh, three and a half hours to get from from uh, the back of Toowoomba. Um, but that's because we had those really tight... <laughs> shocking. Shocking... Uh, um, yeah. 
That was just traumatic. Oh, I wasn't that traumatic, wasn't that bad, but... Anyway, I think I'll run 91. I can get away with that. So I just finished lunch. It's 1.30. We've got about 200 odd kilometres to go as the crow flies. But probably about 400. <laughs> the thing is, we've only got a few hours of sunlight. Oh, it's getting dark so early these days. Yeah, so that's the Queensland New South Wales border. Yeah, straight onto the dirt. Um, boys saw me turn off, but uh, they're not behind me, so I'm probably sitting back out of the dust. So we're heading into, so we've left Texas, went down to Bonshaw Weir by mistake. Um, I was following the line on the map, but it was the line. I've got a little turned around. Anyway! Um, not the first time we've ever done a U-turn. Hello, Skippy. Um, and then turned off onto this road, which is the road to Goat Rock Campground. But we're going to take it um, all the way through. I'm not stopping at the campground. We're going to go all the way through to a place called Ashford. And then... Uh, we're going to make our way down the back roads to Manila and then we're going to head out of Manila down to Lake Keepit and we're going to stop at a, a recreation park there for the night that's the plan anyway that should get us there kind of on dusk I don't want to be riding around in this country there's too many roofs around as it is I don't want to be riding around out here at night <laughs> or in the, in the dusk which is only a couple of hours away. Anyway. Yeah, this is... So... Goat Rock. Campground. Oh, we're not going in there, but... Ah! You stupid thing! <laughs> oh, it was a roof. I literally ran into a tree. <laughs> I don't know if I got that. He's just freaking out because there's a motorbike beside him. So we're going to go back to Wells Crossing and check that out. We had thought we might be able to camp at Pindari Dam, but it's um, it's pretty ordinary. So it's only about 15 kilometres back to uh, Wells Crossing. So you know, we made the decision to go back there rather than to go forward to Inverell. Mr. Wobbly and that my friends is why we're getting off the road because it's their time of day so yeah 
this is this is a uh, a wildlife kind of day. All right, that's Wells Crossing. Come down and get a video of that. Light is beautiful. So I thought there was a toilet here, but there's not. So that's okay. Ashford's not far down the road. The road's just there. That's not necessarily a bad thing. to find a really cool camp spot again we're at a place called Wells Crossing on the Severn River just outside a place called Ashford look at this for a spot the, the big bike adventures Ex expedition we're all set up that's about it's about four o'clock um, We'll get the fire going in a minute, have some dinner, but I think it'll be an early night. Um, everybody's a little bit fatigued. That's why we kind of stopped when we did, just uh, to basically get off the road. It was about three o'clock when we decided to pull in here. We went up into Pindari Dam to have a look. As I said, there was a campground there, but it was shocking. It was rocky and terrible, but look at this. This is the Severn River. Um... Just beautiful, really peaceful spot. No, no amenities here, but uh, we'll duck into Ashford in the morning if we need to do anything. So, all right, let the let the let the frivolities begin. So, how's that down by the Severn River? Look at that, it's amazing! What a beautiful spot. This is Wells Crossing. Stunning. I don't think anyone was a fan of that grassy section, were they? No, no that was a bit of a uh, bit of a mystery too with that one. Yeah, nothing worse. Anyway, good fire, campfire, full moon going off tonight. <laughs>